All right, here we are with my good friend, the Mercury engine. And let me just tell you one thing, you do not want to forge your warranty. And there has been a big myth and a lot of stuff going around about voiding the warranty on this big, beautiful, powerful, reliable engine. And it has to do with lithium batteries. Let me just tell you, I've got the memo. Thank, to, thank you to Rick Pierce from Bass Cat Boats who uh, saw me talking on YouTube about this very topic. And he said, uh, he said, John, let me send you the exact memo so that you can know exactly the wording. And I'm going to bring it to you right now. But let me just tell you, as we look here, we're in my Puma STS. Uh, we are in this thing getting ready to kick off the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series season. In the back of my boat here, you can see that is my cranking battery. That's it right there. It's a huge Lithium Pros, Lithium Technology starting battery. It is designed for starting. Very important. Keep that in mind. As we read this memo, it is designed for starting. It has a computer management system, CMS. I like, I like talking in talking like I'm cool and I know what I'm, I'm doing but uh, here is the mercury right here the mercury service bulletin boys and girls the service bulletin right here from mercury marine for mr. Rick Pierce himself I'm gonna read it to you and I had to read it twice so I'm gonna try to get the highlights for you uh, this is on lithium-ion battery use uh, I will I will put uh, put as much of this in the description as I can um, but basically, the situation is that Mercury Marine has received inquiries about the use of lithium, lithium ion cranking batteries. While Mercury has not certified the use of lithium ion chemistry uh, for engine cranking batteries, as stated in the, the engine installation manuals, we acknowledge that several OEMs have tested and approved lithium ion chemistry batteries specific to their boat applications. So the uh, boat manufacturers have done the work, uh, not Mercury. Mercury probably just doesn't want to sign off on one particular brand or two or whatever, and uh, it's probably smart play. But anyway, uh, all standalone lithium-ion battery packs should have a battery management system. They call it a BMS. I thought that was a bike. No, that's BMX. BMS has a battery management system. So... If you're going to buy a lithium ion battery for cranking for the purpose of cranking your mercury engine you want to make sure it has a battery management system which lithium pros lithium ion technology in those batteries has that it has a little computer board and uh, i think as i mentioned earlier what it does is it prohibits when this engine turns over and starts and the first juice of power comes out of that lithium battery there's a lot of energy in those lithium ion uh, cranking batteries and trolling batteries but when you first turn it first turn it over there can be a burst of energy unless you have that battery management system in there computer management system battery management system in there that will prohibit that spike in voltage and do damage to your engine and your engine's electronics and the boards and all that kind of stuff. So it says uh, it needs that battery management system to protect the battery from damage and any safety issues that may arise. Trying to cover it all. The BMS is a unique is unique to all lithium ion batteries and the conditions at which it engages to protect the battery varies across the range of manufacturers. So not all lithium ion batteries are the same. The lithium pros that I run in my boat, they are, have been, I mean, I've been running them for 10 years now. I think that I've not had any problems with any electronics or electrical issues with my engines. And I think that goes a long way to say uh, about the battery management system in the lithium pros batteries. They've been, I've been doing it for 10 years with that particular brand, not had any problems uh, from that perspective. And uh, it just goes on to uh, just kind of spell out a few more details. So, uh, in, in this says the situation, the situation, and then down here it says the correction. Mercury Marine approves the use of lith lithium, of, of, excuse me, 
approved the use of lead acid or AGM batteries, depending on engine model and in all starting applications. The specifications for individual engines uh, are listed in the operator's manual, blah, blah, blah. Warranty. It's key. Key right here. Warranty. <clears throat> the use of lithium ion batteries will not void the engine warranty. That's the key right there. Will not void the engine warranty. However, claims for failures on the engine components caused by lithium ion batteries may be denied. Refer any battery related issues to the installer. So if you put in some garbage, lithium ion batteries, and it causes damage to your Mercury engine, Mercury might say, you know what? We ain't covering that. Because we warned you, you put in garbage, connect it to this, to this motor, we may not cover it. Uh, lithium technology in general is not, does not void your warranty, but any claims against this Mercury engine uh, that are arisen because of the battery itself, Mercury may not cover it. So uh, use, uh, use what you want, because uh, that's the memo right there, the service bulletin. But let me throw this in there as well. Um, I'm gonna open this back up and show you that, you know, there's my, my cranking battery. It is uh, connected. I've got this, got all my stuff on there uh, with the little breaker. Uh, that is important. Try to be safe as, as possible. And it's nice and neat. I like, I like all that. And then we've got the power pole charge over there. I highly recommend the power pole charge. It connects your cranking battery to the trolling. This is the trolling motor battery. Just one 36 volt battery. It is a beast. It is big. The, uh, the lithium pros cranking battery that I'm using is 215 uh, amps. It's a monster. It is a big old monster uh, using the TH Marine uh, battery trays. Uh, so that I don't think it's going to be any problem, but that that system right there works great for me. It worked great for me last year. Did that uh, basically that same setup and had no problems. I've got five graphs. Yeah, it's totally ridiculous. I know uh, completely and I have power poles <laughs> and we'll have live wells run and we'll have all that stuff. But that that power pole helps manage all the power uh, across all of the electrical uh, outlets. In short, what it does is it maximizes the alternator's power every time you move. It maximizes that alternator alternator's power to bring up the power of all of your batteries uh, as quick as possible, and it pushes power back and forth so that neither battery side would technically run out unless you completely run out of juice. But as long as you crank your big engine periodically, that's probably not gonna happen. You could just keep on fishing for four, five, six, seven days at a time without even having to plug in at night. So it's pretty crazy. But anyway, just wanted to give you the, the full story, the full update on the Mercury service memo. Thank you to Mr. Rick Pierce for sharing that with me. And I wanted to share that with you, all you guys out there. If you have any more questions, Go see your mercury dealer no i'm just kidding uh, you drop them down there in the comments if you have any uh, experience or questions anything like that uh, let me know uh, be curious to hear any feedback from from anybody on the lithium batteries that they may have had or uh, if you're lithium pros uh, they're based uh, they're made in the usa they're made in uh, knoxville tennessee it's really cool um, technology they use better technology uh, if you will um, i'm not going to go deep into that but they use really good technology and um I stand behind them that does does really good for me and a number of guys on tour a bunch a bunch of guys run those uh whether they're you know whether they talk about them or not so we'll see you guys next time